Hey guys, this is Nikki. Happy holidays today. I'm going to show you how I transform my fireplace from looking like this to looking like this using Dollar Tree tiles, some spray paint, and I decorated for the holidays. It's going to be a couple part series, so make sure you stay tuned, subscribe if you have not yet, and like the video and comment below. Dollar Tree tiles, and I am going to put these on my fireplace. I'm spraying these gold, and I am using this spray paint so let's get it let's go let's get started with the tutorial picked up a rectangular plastic tablecloth from dollar tree so that i can spray paint on but you can use a drop cloth these are the tiles that i'm going to use to cover the fireplace and i'm waiting for this to dry so I'll be back out in about an hour or I so. I have, excuse me, card stock, but I think I might put it on foam board. We'll see. We'll see what works best because I just don't want them to fall off the fireplace. Okay, so let's get to it. I had to thoroughly clean off the fireplace. I had to sweep, wipe off the bricks, and I wanted to make sure that I really wiped off the bricks because I wanted the tape to adhere, but you can also use command strips. This is going to look so pretty. All right, so I'm going to take cardboard well this is not cardboard this is poster board from Dollar Tree these are two for a dollar and I'm going to cover the fireplace with the board with these on it so I'll show you what that looks like in a minute I am taping my boards together and then I'm going to apply my tile this can get a little tricky when lining it up, so just make sure that you are very careful before you secure it because it's harder to pull it off. But the great thing about this is that you can pull it off and you can use tape and tape it back on just in case the sticky part comes off. So I'm just going to add all the tile. I measured out the width of my fireplace first so I knew exactly what I was doing and how many tiles I needed. And that is the first row. And now we're going to get into the second row. I left some at the bottom because this is where I'm going to cut. So I didn't want to peel off the whole entire tile. I just wanted to leave a little bit at the bottom where I have to cut so that it doesn't stick to the floor. And that's what you see me doing right now. After I get all the tiles on the board, I am going to just use some scissors and just cut away. It is so easy to use. You don't have to use any special tools. And here you just see me cleaning off the fireplace. We've been using this fireplace just to hold everything. It has not even been functional. Um, I did cover the middle part of the fireplace because that's where a lot of the air comes through. So I took one of the black plastic tablecloths from Dollar Tree and I put it in that space to prevent the air coming through. After measuring out my fireplace and making my markings, I'm going to add tape to the back of the board and add the board to the fireplace. For this part, you may need someone to help you put it on or you can put your board on the fireplace first and then add the tile to the board. I was messing around. This was my first time doing it, so I didn't know exactly what to expect. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy Dollar Tree DIY for my fireplace makeover. Please stay tuned for part two. If you have not yet liked, comment, and subscribe, please do so and turn on your notifications bell so you can stay tuned when I'm doing part two.